know we hear this all the time, but I genuinely can't quite believe how quickly this time of year has come around. But I have to say, I'm ready for it, as I am every year. The festive season is my favourite time of year, and in today's video, we are going to start the preparations for that. So I'm sure that for anybody that has followed Lids or I for a number of years, would have heard us talk about how this time of year is particularly special for us. We like to celebrate the festive season and we really enjoy putting effort into it. And so today I am going to be tackling the greenhouse Christmas lights decor. Last year, I don't think we got them on it. There was something happening, I can't quite remember, but we weren't able to get them up. But the year before that we did, something like that not important. That's what I'm going to be doing today. At the end of the week, Lydia is going to begin the Christmas install inside the house. And so it's going to be getting very festive around here very soon. But it feels like we're a bit later this year than normal. I feel like we normally do it at the start of the month as opposed to right at the very end. Uh, we're pushing into December. It definitely feels like a good time to get started. I had a really lovely weekend actually because my younger brother got married to his wife Jessica and we celebrated in London. It was a really nice wedding and it was lovely to spend some time with the family. So anyway, before we head out and get started, as part of my ongoing partnership with Sky Cinema Club, I am going to be bringing you insight into this month's Sky Cinema offerings. Throughout this year, I've already had the privilege of bringing you an array of Sky Cinema films, from blockbuster hits to captivating Sky originals. But today, I want to delve into one of the many exciting releases that has graced Sky Cinema. And I have to say that this is one of my favourite films that I've reviewed this year. The film that I recently had the pleasure of watching is a compelling biopic by the very talented George Tillman Jr. It chronicles the incredible journey of George Foreman, showcasing one of the greatest comebacks in sports history and the transformative power of second chances. From Olympic gold medalist at the ripe old age of just 19 to the world heavyweight champion, George Foreman's story takes an unexpected turn where a near-death experience takes him from the boxing ring to the pulpit. However, witnessing his community struggle prompts a historic return to the ring, making him the oldest and the most improbable heavyweight champion of the world ever. And this film goes by the name of Big George Foreman. Portrayed by the very brilliant Chris Davies, George Foreman's character comes to life alongside Academy Award winner, Forrest Whitaker, who takes on the role in the film as Foreman's coach and his mentor. As a fan of biopics, I always find it very fascinating to go and delve into the real life characters and events. It's almost like I'm fact checking the film and comparing the cinematic portrayals against the actual historical figures. But anyway, let's not forget the essence of Sky Cinema Club and your opinion is very welcomed. I want to hear your thoughts on this film and any other films that you've been enjoying on Sky recently because I'm making a bit more time to sit down and consume more Sky Cinema films. I personally found this remarkable true story about George Foreman's life absolutely fascinating. He showed that amongst the struggles that come with the environment that he grew up in, he still very much fought for what he believed in. And some may say that it was good fortune, but he managed to cross paths with his coach who saw the potential within this undiscovered talent. And George Foreman put in the hard work and he lived that natural talent and so to hear his story and his ups and downs which I had no idea about you know I'm a fan of boxing I love the sport but I didn't know that much about George Foreman's life he was possibly a little bit before my time but of course he's fought and won against some of the greats and it was an engaging overview of his life and he did some great work speaking of engaging november brings a cinematic feast with brand new film collections so get ready to embrace the festive season with this month's pop-up the christmas collection featuring some absolute classics such as elf the holiday and love actually i know lydia is very excited to sit down and watch the holiday and probably love actually as well i think it's becoming quite the ritual for us each year and let's be honest it's the perfect way to get into the festive spirit as always stay tuned for more film reviews and discussions as we continue this journey with sky cinema i will be leaving the relevant links to the trailers in the description box down below so don't forget to go and check those out
Well, the Christmas outdoor decoration install has begun. I've just started to get some bits out here and I thought before we get started, I'm gonna talk you through the plan of action for today. So the first job that I think has to be done, cannot be missed, is preparation. We need to prepare the space to ensure that it's nice and tidy and clean. So when we're doing our light install, we're not trying to sort that out after. So my first task is to clear the gutters and just get the leaf blower and get rid of all the leaves around the area just make sure that that space is ready for us to do the Christmas install. So as the great quote goes, something along the lines of, there's no such thing as bad weather, there's just bad dressing. So I managed to kit myself out today with some waterproofs. This is a jacket that I picked up from Holland Country Clothing, and I have to say, very happy with it. Got a beanie on to keep my head warm, nice and cozy. And I've got my Fishamo wellies on. So, kitted out, ready for a hard day's work in the garden, rain or shine. The starter pack for the outdoor festive install is outdoor reindeer lights. These are from Lights for Fun. We picked up, I think it was like a set of three. During the pack down last year, we broke off uh, one of the horns and also damaged the head on one of the stags. So I actually ordered a new one, which arrived yesterday. So that's all ready to go. I'll link all this in the description box down below. Secondly, to bring to life that greenhouse, we're gonna be using these lights, which are cluster string lights. Um, there's a thousand lights on these, it's 13 meters in length. I believe these are from B&Q. So again, I'll uh, find the links. Yeah, they are B&Q. I'll find the links and get these linked down below. I think they're really nice. They work really effectively. Great for putting around porches and stuff like that. Grab yourself a Christmas tree, obviously an essential for Christmas and make your life easy with some time clocks. So I'll be setting these up so the Christmas tree lights come on without me having to manually do it because I don't fancy coming out every day to switch on the lights. So definitely grab yourself one of these. So I'm all set, ready to go. I'm gonna, as I mentioned, get prepped, get everything tidied, ready to go. And then we'll start slinging up the lights and we'll just kind of winging it. So obviously this is the area that we're focusing on today. I'd quickly give you a closer look at what we're dealing with. So as you can see, we've got a lot of leaf build up in the gutters. I came out here in the week and actually tidied up and freshened up the inside of the greenhouse ahead of today. So I did a little bit of pruning. The lemon trees are doing incredibly well in here. They look actually really luscious, which is nice to see because I know liddy has been working hard to keep these alive and revived. Um, over on the left, again, I just went through and gave all the plants and pots a nice tidy up. Trim back the vines. I think we're gonna go a bit harder on them, but I'm just gonna to speak to our gardener just to see what he thinks because I would like to establish them a bit. I don't wanna keep on cutting them down to the ground every year if we don't have to. And then that was about it. So as you can see, there's lots of leaf build up. That we're just gonna get rid of on the greenhouse just so this is cleared out of the way because it'll look a lot smarter then. And fingers crossed we can achieve this within a couple of hours. Okay, so a couple of hours have passed. I've been jet washing all sorts, to be honest with you. The greenhouse in particular, backsides and front, and a little bit inside as well. I also tidied up the little water feature, or sundial, I think it's a bit of both, isn't it? In the middle here, and plenty of leaf blowing. I also cleared out this space over here as well, so you can see where I've just blown the leaves into where they're kind of like wild flower or woodland floor. 
starts. So yes, yeah, it's looking a bit tidier. We really need to get the corn out of the bed, which I probably should do, but I don't want to uh, push back getting the lights on the greenhouse any further. So next task is to get this wired up. But most importantly, the preparation has been done. And now we're working from a clean, fresh foundation. Well, Lydia just made me a coffee and so, Whilst I was grabbing it, I had a quick discussion. I said, I want to pull these out, even though I don't have time to. I think that they're killing the vibe out here. So she said, yep, go ahead. Also, the two pots at the front of the greenhouse, we're going to do a little bit of shopping, uh, possibly tomorrow, and get those planted up so they look nice out the front as well. So they would also be addressed. But quickly whip these out whilst I'm having my coffee, and then we'll get on to the main event. accidentally pulled out the wrong thing so whatever that is the pumpkin thing and uh, I've taken off a lot of the crow um, I've planted it back in hopefully she doesn't notice it was even bigger than I thought she's not gonna be happy with me when you're trying to do a good thing and then it turns out to be a bad thing I think that's just what you just put this out there's one piece of advice that I would give you before ever installing any Christmas decorations it would be plug in the lights and check that they're all working okay I've just done this as you can see the bunch is looking good which is fantastic Something I like about these lights as well Liz and I will just have them on permanently but on the actual plug there are eight settings, so as you can see, we can have them twinkling, we can have them crossing 50-50, a soft fade, a fast flash, and then just slowly, I think they come in and out, and then a 50-50 fast flash. But we will have them like this. So yeah, always check the lights before you get stuck into wiring these up or installing any of your Christmas decorations because there's nothing worse. I mean, there definitely is things that are worse, but there's nothing worse than um, putting so much effort into like stringing low lights up and then finding out that they don't work because they broke. Oh, it looks like the chickens have come over to say hello. I think all the jet washing has been scaring them off, but. Hello, darling. Good to see you. Feeling brave. Yeah, I know. Up to no good, aren't you? Yeah. Bluebell has definitely got a soft spot for me. He's very comfortable. Aren't you, darling? Right, anyway, let's go. Good news, the spade to lids. After all, we weren't going to get any more growth from that because it's got too cold, so... The worry's over. All okay.
so my work here today has been done and we're going to switch them on in three two one and there we have it let me know what you think i'm not 100 percent sure on the reindeer that has a missing head to the right of the frame <laughs> i've uh, stuck him in the woodland it kind of reflects in real life a little bit off the tree next to it so you can actually see the head but on the camera it's not picking up at all but it looks quite good so i'll quickly take you inside and uh, show the christmas tree and that is the garden light install done it's a shame that it has gone dark and i can't actually show you the uh, tidy up as well because obviously a nice tidy up happened today so it's uh, looking a bit tidier out here as well well as you can see it's a beautiful morning and i was coming out to say i'm so proud of you all of you yes you've been left alone unattended and you're so well behaved almost all of you almost all of you what is this hey yeah Gwyneth knows she's been naughty yes and because you're well behaved you're coming for some loving decided that I think Gwyneth's being singled out. They're not bullying her or picking on her, but she's just a little bit more on edge than the rest of them. And she just seems to be a little bit of a loner. Come on, darling. Come on. Scaredy pants. What's the matter? Hey? The bark's doing very well in here. Though no, you're not acting like the single one there, are you? Standing all tall and proud. Well, good morning. I'm just about to head to Aston Martin work this morning for a quick meeting and a coffee, which I'm looking forward to. I had a gym session this morning. I feel really good for it. I've been trying to get back into the gym a little bit more because I have been slacking on the exercise and well-being front recently. Work's kind of just dominated a lot of my time and effort. So it's uh yeah, it's nice to um jump back in the gym. I even tempted a cold shower this morning. I think maybe tomorrow will be the day that I'll do a cold shower because they always make me feel alive, should we say. But after my meeting this morning with Aston Works, I will be heading to my nan's house because I have promised a hedge trim and so I'm going to get that done today. It's very chilly out there but it's very lovely so whilst we still have the sun I'm going to make the most of it and get that done as well. So that is the plan of action for today. Well we've arrived to Aston Martin Works. The car's looking glorious out here today. I love this place. Well, I just finished up my meeting with the guys at Works and I've just walked past their design room, which I absolutely love looking at. I don't know why, but you can see all of the different colors on the wall of all the cars. I know it's very flicky on the screen. I do apologize, but you get to see all the levers, you get to feel them. And it's just a really nice way of kind of interacting and getting a, a feel for exactly what it is you're gonna be ordering. And so hopefully very soon, we are gonna be coming into this room and taking a good look at what the next car is going to be. So yeah, very exciting. And they've also got all of their lovely luggage in here. Calipers, oh, look at that gold one. Lovely, right. I'm gonna get myself over to my nans. Thank you. 
well we've just arrived this is the hedge that i'm going to be tackling today it goes all the way down and then we're going to do a little bit on the left side as well but if we go through to the main event the vegetable garden you'll see that we've had well you won't know because you didn't see it before but we've had a big tidy up a few weeks ago back here so this is the little allotment at the back of Nan and Grouse's home. We raised the canopies on the pear tree, well all of the fruit trees to be honest with you, you've got the apple tree in the corner as well. And we just lifted those up just to create a bit more space and light on the ground. Big job is to give this a big trim up, we'll possibly do that in the spring. Next year, we stripped out everything that was in here, we're going to level up the pathway, just run that all the way up and then we're going to seed and grass or wildflower this section here. This is the tomato shed, which was dedicated to tomatoes. So that is going to be revived very shortly. And that pretty much is about where we're at. I'm gonna get busy. have it a trimmed and mowed garden I also started doing just sort of this hedge has got box blight so it needs treating but I just gave it a quick shape up also they've got a lot of weed that's been dominating this area so I just started to clear that out and then just edge the strip which needs to be done to continue up but this hedge will be fine probably could have cut it back even harder but that brown will turn to green in no time and then again just leveled out this hedge line all the way along here ready for 
spring next year for it to come fighting back but it just keeps everything under control i also did a tiny little bit of tidying up at the top so yeah it's all looking very nice robin's just come to check out to make sure my work is up to scratch is what i was just about to say but my battery died whilst we were out and about so i'm back home now and i think that is going to finish up this week's vlog i hope you have enjoyed it and as always i'll leave all of the relevant links in the description box down below currently just enjoying the festive decor out the office window i do like this time of year and i have the fortune of being able to sit at my desk and also enjoy it because it's getting dark really early it's only half four and it's pitch black outside almost pitch black so anyway take care and i'll see you next week mm -hmm.